Hello geeks, how are you doing today? This video is first in a series where we learn Flutter by creating real life usable applications. This is the first chapter where I will talk about basic introduction to the framework and how we can make use of it. So let's start. Flutter is a new entrant in mobile application development space. If you go to the website called flutter.io, you will get to a page which talks about how to set up development environment and any other dependencies. This, this video is chapter 0 which talks about introduction and the background of it. Before looking into the Flutter, let's talk something about the history. During late 90s, two browsers were prominent, Internet Explorer and Netscape Navigator. But we had to write different code because the codes were not compatible with each other. This was happened because of lack of standardization. And when the standardization did happen, we managed to write same code for different browser, including Internet Explorer and Netscape Navigators. Now, as of today, no matter whether our browser is Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox or Opera, we write same amount of code. If not 100%, then it's 99.99%. Fast forward 15-20 years, that is as of today, there is a paradigm shift that has happened. All major websites are now having mobile apps for personalized experiences. And there are two prominent players in this mobile domain. They are iOS and Android. To write a code in Android, you need to learn either Java or Kotlin or for iOS Swift or Objective-C. Now we get to the same questions again. What if we could write the same code for both the platform? So here we, we should welcome Flutter by Google. Flutter is a framework which allows us to write the common code for Android and iOS, most of it. It uses a Dart programming language, the language by Google, and it directly generates the ARM binaries which makes it much faster native code. The, let's understand the Flutter framework, how it looks like. In Flutter, everything on the screen is a widget. Whether it is a topmost container or innermost child, it's a widget. And widgets are generally categorized into stateful or stateless widget. If we just uh, look at the picture that is coming now, is that a screen looks like consists of multiple widgets where widget 0 is a topmost container and 1, 2, 3, 4 are child widgets. Now let's talk in brief about stateless and stateful widget. Stateless widget can be considered as something which draws itself only once when the widget is instantiated. While a stateful widget can be considered as something which redraws itself again and again based on some event or some user input. So that's the basic introduction on what Flutter is and how we can create apps using Flutter. In the upcoming videos of this series, uh, we will see how to write code for creating mobile applications using Flutter. So please do subscribe and tune in. Thanks for watching.